After finding out about the water cycle, I started wondering more. Like, what happens to the water from the kitchen sink? Or the dishwasher? Or my bath water? Or what about when I flush the toilet? Yeah. Does that just go into our lakes and rivers? Or our reservoirs and dams? Yeah. So this is where the used water from homes and businesses ends up. Here they remove the stuff from the sewage so the water can be safely recycled. One type of recycled water is used at treatment plants to look after their important wetlands and for animals too. A second type of recycled water is purified so much that it's used for things like firefighting, watering parks and gardens, sports ovals, and even some zoos use it to keep their animals happy. There are even some homes that use this recycled water in their gardens and for flushing toilets. What's that smell? What? Back in the 1800s, people didn't have treatment plants, so their washing water, their poo and their wee, was flowing down the streets. That was making people super sick, as well as making them super smelly. Hey, what happened to my voice? Please take us back. So what do you all think? Water is so precious, isn't it? And because we don't have much usable fresh water, it's so important that we recycle it so we don't use up all our clean drinking water. And because water is so precious, the next time I flush the toilet or help my parents with the washing, I know where that water ends up. And the next time I kick a ball on a lovely green oval or see a fresh flower in a park, I know that my wastewater helped. Good on you, Pooh!